Hi everyone. Have you ever been working in a lean startup or creating an MVP or a minimum viable product within your existing business? Well, one of the ways to figure out if that is going to be successful or to give it the highest chance of success is to start with a lean canvas business plan. Now a lean canvas is a modified version of the business model canvas. And you'll notice that it looks very similar, but it has that lean startup twist. So what we're going to do is just go through each of these sections, create this in Excel and explain them as we go through them and the order that we want to create our lean canvas in. It's going to be a whole bunch of fun and you can take this and use it in your business straight away. Let's get into it. Now the first thing we're going to do is just uh, let's create our columns and say we want some of these to be the width. I think around 25 is probably going to work for us. These two in the middle will be around 12.5, so half of that, and that should give us enough to get started. Now, we also just want to quickly create the heading area and the general colors and framing of our lean canvas, and we might speed that up ever so slightly as we do it. And here's where we're going to use a few little tricks, and this involves inserting a symbol. So what we're going to do is just go to Insert, uh, Symbols, and we just want to insert a symbol there. Now the font we want is a Sego, so Sego UI, but we need it to be Sego UI symbol as well. So if we select symbol there, now if we scroll down, what we should be able to find is a circle and a nice arrow to insert into our sheet. Here's a nice circle here, so we're going to insert that one. And here is a nice arrow, so let's insert this arrow as well. And if we close that, what we want to do is insert the arrow just underneath a little bit. And now we're free to, uh, to go back to our home, increase the size, uh, put this in the middle, make sure that that's in the middle, and also to color it the way that we want it to be colored. If we select this and go to our font, make it a nice, maybe a nice light, uh, a light yellow, I think that's quite nice. That's gonna give us something to work with. And now we can put our first item here where we're saying this is the problem that we want to solve. If we select that text and turn that white, now it's starting to look really, really nice. We can even increase the indent ever so slightly and do the same for our next section down. But the problem is where we list our top one to three problems. Now, if we select this, copy this across, we can uh, paste this over. And what we really want to start with is with our customers and our customer segments too large, we can just decrease the size a little bit. Let's copy across our, our little bullet point as well and paste that over here. This is where we want to list our target customers and target customer segments. And now we're starting to fill out our areas. So what we're seeing is that it's overspilling our, our cells as well. So we just want to select that. Let's select a whole bunch. We'll right click format cells and we just want the alignment to uh, not to merge, to wrap text around when that's appropriate and uh, just increase that size. Now that's looking a lot better. As part of our customer segments, we also want to know the early adopters. So this is where we list the ideal characteristics of our customers. Who are they? And you know, what sort of habits do they have? Are they working mums? Are they executives? Uh, or are they both? Are they a combination of both? Are they CEOs? Are they people who are into sneakers? Are they people who are into Pokemon cards? Whatever it is, we want to list these characteristics in this particular section. And now we're starting to, to get the framework for this particular lean canvas. We can start copying this across down here, and then we want to just merge this one as well. Uh, we'll still keep copying, copy this one and copy it again. And we'll fill these out in a second. But we also want to copy this across, uh, across to our top areas over here. And again, this top one, we can merge and center very easily. But now we've got enough for us to actually start putting the framework or the framing around all of this. And just use a nice thick box border, very, very simple. We can do that around all of these ones that we're wanting to, to use. As part of this, we're also going to just merge these particular areas. So merge these cells and merge these cells. Uh, and that way we can drag them down and they'll all be very similar as well. That's just so that uh, that's going to help us out in these bottom sections because we actually need to merge into uh, up to the center here and merge up to the center here as well. And what that means is if we copy this across and then if we go to merge and maybe, maybe not merge in the center, but maybe over to the left-hand side. 
then we can copy this over to the left hand side, to the other side as well. So now, as you can see, it's starting to really take shape. And all we have to do is fill out what each area needs to do and needs to have in order for a complete lean canvas business plan. Also, what we can do now is go to view and we can get rid of the grid lines because now we've actually got enough of the framing to work with uh, on our normal sheet. After our early adopters and the problem that they're facing, what we want to know is what is the solution that we're looking for. This is where we outline a possible solution for each of the problems that our customer has. But we also want to know if there are any existing alternatives. So we want to know how these problems are solved today so that we're not doubling up or if we are, we're coming up with a better version of that. When we have our solution and comparing that to existing alternatives, now we can start looking at our unique value proposition. This is where we note our single clear compelling message that states why we're different and why we're worth paying attention to in the market. What is our amazing offer that we're going to offer customers and why do they want to pay attention to us? Now, of course, this leads into our unfair advantage. And we really want this when we're brainstorming to be something that cannot be easily bought or easily copied. Make sure it's not a commodity, something that can be competed with on price. Ideally, it will be unique to our organization and hard for others to copy or to replicate. Now, once we have all of that taken care of, now we can start looking at the channels that we're going to deliver our project or our product through. This is the path that we're delivering to our customers, or maybe they're coming to us. So either way, how are we delivering to our customers? How are they getting the product or service that we're are creating for them? Now that we have that, it's important that we figure out the cost structure as part of that. So what does that mean? First, we're listing the, uh, the fixed and variable costs that we have in our particular business. And next, we're going to list the revenue streams. So that means that's the monthly or the annual, or you know maybe it's a subscription model, or maybe it's a one-off fee, or maybe uh, we have things like an iPhone that get replaced every year or every couple of years. What is the revenue stream and what is compelling our customers to buy and to repeat buy from us. Now the last two things are our key metrics. These are the key numbers that will tell us how our business is doing. Is it revenue over cost? Uh, or is it the number of sales? Is it the number of customers that we have? What is it that we're wanting to measure to know when we are being successful as our business? And lastly, this is the really fun part. This is the high level concept of our lean startup. This is where we list our X for Y. So where the X of Y, for example, YouTube might be the Flickr for videos or the Flickr of videos. Netflix is the, is the online but video store, for example, the online blockbuster, for example, back in the day when they were creating that. Uh, and so what is, uh, what is the analogy that people can really get behind so that they can understand where it fits? What does it look like currently, but how is it different as well? Now we've got the heading area that we can easily fill out and we've got our completed lean canvas business plan. Now we can take this on the road, take it to potential investors, take it to people who we want to be involved in our startup and help them come on board in the best way possible. I hope you've enjoyed spending the time with me creating this because I've really enjoyed spending the time with you. And I hope you take this and use it in your own business or your startup to create something amazing. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.